Hiya beautiful people and welcome back to the Seconds Giving series. If you're new to my channel, my name is Segan Mizgina and all week long I've been sharing Thanksgiving recipes that I know you guys could make. So I've created a playlist for you guys. I'll link it right over here and in the description box below because we've made a lot of food. So far we made cranberry sauce, cornbread, stuffing, mashed potatoes, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, collard greens, like we, we've done it all. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys roasted sweet potatoes. Now this is my favorite side to make, especially because it's super easy and super quick. I always leave this one to last, honestly, because nothing tastes better than roasted sweet potatoes fresh out of the oven with collard greens. It's like my favorite pairing during Thanksgiving. So if you guys are interested to see how I make this quick and easy roasted sweet potato side, continue watching. But first, you already know I have to give a major shout out to the following people right over here. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. We are so close to 50K. I am so excited and I can't thank you guys enough. If you guys want a shout out like them, all you have to do is click the notification bell. Let me know that you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's video. There are only... After this video, there are only two videos left and the Seconds Giving series is over, so make sure you guys click that notification bell and make sure you're subscribed as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get started with making some sweet potatoes. All right, so to get started with our sweet potato, we're gonna have to chop up some sweet potato. I just rinsed these real quick, so I'm ready to chop. But if you guys remember the hack that I showed you guys in the stuffing video and the collard greens video, I like to put a damp paper towel underneath my cutting board, that way it doesn't wiggle around. Perfect. So now we're ready to chop. So I'm gonna get started on chopping up the potatoes. Now make sure you have a very sharp knife because the sweet potatoes are really hard to cut through. They're not like regular white potato or yellow potatoes. So to help with the chopping process, I would actually boil the sweet potato for a few minutes. That way it's a little bit more soft and easier to chop. So I'm just gonna chop them up into quarters here. And you can peel the skin, but I rinsed off the skin and I really do like the skin on the sweet potato and it's packed with nutrients as well, so I like to leave it on. But if you like to peel off your skin, just get a potato peeler and peel off the skin, then start chopping. All right, so that's one sweet potato. I have a few more to go, so I'm just gonna transfer them over to my baking tray here. I'm just gonna chop up this last sweet potato. I'm probably good with the amount that I have uh, already, but this one's pretty small, so it should be fine. All right, so I chopped up all the sweet potato and all that's left to do is season. So really simple, I'm going to add some olive oil some salt and some pepper. I absolutely love thyme and sweet potatoes. I mean, I love thyme with a lot of things, as you guys could already tell with a lot of the recipes from the Seconds Giving series, but thyme and sweet potato, I don't know what it is. It's just match made in heaven. Oh, just even smelling this thyme right now, holy smokes. I'm gonna add some more. Again, with thyme, just go backward and you're left with thyme leaves. If you have dry thyme, then that works just fine. I just like the fresh time for this recipe. 
Okay, so this part is optional, but I'm just gonna roughly chop some fresh rosemary to put on top. So after just roughly chopping it, I'm just gonna add that there. I'm gonna preheat the oven at 425. And as it's preheating, I'm just gonna mix everything together. Make sure each potato has a nice coat of that olive oil, the salt and pepper. I personally like roasted sweet potatoes versus candied sweet potatoes. Now I'm gonna quickly rinse my hands because we need to cover this with some aluminum foil. So our sweet potatoes are ready for the oven and I'm gonna leave it in for 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, our sweet potatoes are done. So just to finish off, I like to garnish it with some thyme. So I'm just gonna grab some thyme. And there we have it guys, our roasted sweet potatoes straight out of the oven. It looks and smells delicious. This is my favorite side to have with collard greens. It's my absolute favorite. All the ingredients will be in the description box below, but I'm telling you guys, this couldn't be any more easier. So remember to check the description box below for all the ingredients. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to share this with your family and friends. This is the quickest, easiest way to make roasted sweet potatoes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, all you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Again, if you guys want that shout out, just let me know that you're a new subscriber in the comment section down below and I'll give you a shout out on tomorrow's post. All right guys, so with that being said, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye.